to pay attention. Now, what's resulted in this area is that this has became what is effectively a very easy to spot RGL type area, 84, 85, if I say it above cell side below kind of idea. So we'll be able to watch this very, very carefully. It's now an important level for us. And uh, we'll see how, it, uh, see how it goes. But again, safe trades. If you don't pay attention to these ones, guys, you can see that the safe trade, for example, on the bond, there is no sellers into the lower prices here. So what's the safe trade? Buying into these lower prints here. Buy side pop. There she goes. Beautiful. What's been the safe trade on the pound? Well, we told you at the time it was to sell down into this phase here. What was the safe trade on the euro? It was to sell down into this phase here. So you can see that the safe trade actually is a very, very sensible trade. It's a very, very obvious trade because it has a quality about it that uh, most other trades don't. And that is, there's nobody on the other side. It's pure price action and liquidity. So there's nobody on the other side. So when you can get rid of both the buyers, both kinds of buyers or both kinds of sellers, life should be relatively straightforward for us, like this bottom edge bond. There were no sellers into the low prices. So why would you want to do anything other than try and buy up some low prices? It's pretty straightforward, guys. Same for the S&P here. There are no buyers into this level two liquidity here. So why would you want to be doing anything other than selling into that price. And the takeaway from that trade was glorious. Beautiful trade. We went uh, 80, 88s down to 78s and a little bit more than that as well. And uh, $500 literally in, uh, in five, six, seven minutes. A great trade, lovely bit of outcome. Uh, cash open guys in just uh, 18 minutes, 18 minutes cash open.